This video is a continuation of the nomenclature of cycloalkanes. The first thing that we observe in here is that all of these rings are the same size. This is a cyclohexane with substituents, a cyclohexane with substituent. So all of them have a six carbon cycloalkane with alkyl groups. If we look at the first one, the first structure, this one has a methyl group. This here is a methyl group. Every time that you see a line like this, these are methyl groups. So this one has two methyl groups, and this one also has two methyl group substituents, and this one also has two methyl groups. Now this one is not a methyl, it is a two carbon long skeletal alkyl group. So this one is a CH2 right here and a CH3 right here. So this one is an ethyl group, which is the same than this one. It's also an ethyl. This here is an ethyl group. What is the structure of an ethyl group? Please remember that this one is a primary alkyl substituent ethyl group. Now that we have identified all of the alkyl substituents, there is one more alkyl substituent that we look for, and that is not an al a substituent with carbon, but it is an atom of a halogen. This is a bromine that we'll also consider as a substituent. This is a bromine and three of the molecules will have it. So we have also bromine as a substituent. So we have bromine, but we are going to name bromine as bromo. That will be the name of bromine as a substituent, bromo. Now let's name the first molecule. So we know that this is a cyclohexane because it has cis carbons. So this is six carbons, it's a cyclohexane. The second thing is, after knowing what the substituents are, is that we need to label the ring. When it is a monosubstituted cyclovalcane, we don't assign numbers, but when it has two substituents, now we need to assign carbon number one and two. So I have two choices. I can assign carbon 1 and 2, or carbon 1 and 2. And the right way to do this is to assign the smallest number to the one atom that comes first in the alphabet. And that will be the atom of bromine. So this will be carbon number 1, and this one is carbon number 2. So the name of my compound, number one, for the first structure, the name for this one is 1-bromo-2-methyl, and one word, cyclohexane. That's the first name. And we need to name our second substance. For the second substance, we know that we have two methyl groups here, one methyl and another methyl, and they are within the same carbon. And we also have a bromine. It is important to remember this. You need to have in the name of the substance as many numbers as alkyl substituents. Let me repeat that. We always need to have as many numbers as alkyl substituents. In the first molecule, we have two numbers because we have two alkyl substituents. So in this one, we have three substituents, so we need to have three numbers. We already know that when two alkyl groups are within the same carbon, that those alkyl groups will have the same number. Now, in the second case, we cannot assign 
the carbon that has the this carbon that has bromine cannot be carbon number one. It has to be the carbon with the two methyl groups because when I add the numbers, I must get the smallest possible number. So my possibilities are, I'm going to list them all. This is carbon number one and this is carbon number two. Um, because I'm using multiplier, I will say I have a one one dimethyl and I also have a 2 bromo. If I add all of these numbers, that will be 4. My second choice, this is the right answer. My second choice it would be to have a 1 bromo and 2 2 dimethyl. But when I add those numbers, this is adding to 5. And that's a good indication that this is the wrong answer. Now that we need to write the name, we know that this is a cyclohexane. This cyclohexane, we know we can um, we can list the substituents in alphabetical order. So we know that this one is carbon number one, and this is carbon number two. So we say the name for that because bromo will come before methyl. This is a Two bromo one one dimethyl cyclohexane, and that's the right name for the substance. Now we need to name our third compound. Our third compound is simple. We have a carbon with two methyl groups and one carbon with one ethyl group still will be similar to the second case it will be a two I mean one one dimethyl substituent we have one one dimethyl and we also have a four ethyl so I number independent of what is the substituent. I just need to make sure that my numbers are the smallest one. But when I name this substance, my name must be in alphabetical order. So for that, we need to make sure we can get what's the name of the substance correctly. The name of this substance is, well, let's write this down, for car compound number three, we say that this is carbon number one, and this is carbon number four. No matter in what way I go, I will get the numbers the same. One, two, three, and four. And the same thing, one, two, three, and four. But always assigning to the carbon that has two substituents for the smallest number. Now the name for this number three is one, um, four, Ethyl one one dimethyl cyclohexane. Now let's name the last one. At this point, we know that this is carbon number one. But we only can take one route. We cannot go using this route because my numbers will be one, one, four, six, which is much larger when we add them up than one, one, two, and four. So let's label those. Let's label them. So this one is carbon number one, this is carbon number two, and this is number four. Now the name of this substance is, we need to always have as many numbers as alkyl substituents. So this one is a two promo four ethyl 
वन वन डायमेथोल साइक्लो हेक्सेन दो सेंगीवें फिट वन वन डायमेथोल साइक्लो हेक्सेन And that's it.